Dr. Chris Masters has to leave England after killing a fascist thug in a street brawl. He arrives on the remote South Sea island of Coraluna to work as assistant medical officer. When the tribal chief dies mysteriously, Chris insists on a post-mortem against all island tradition. Alienated from the people he came to help, he finds comfort in the arms of Paula Reed. Dr. Masters around the island. Anyone for me up at the hospital? They still wait until they're sure they can see Dr. Reed. I'm sorry. No matter. It just means my only patient gets my undivided attention. Evacuated from Dunkirk under relentless. If you don't get out of bed soon, we're going to miss the celebrations. That might not be such a bad idea. People will talk. Let them. Might add a little spice to their lives. It's all right for you to say that. But my reputation's fine. Besides, I spent all morning hanging decorations. Gentlemen, volunteers to clear the tables, please. <laughs> Don't you agree? God knows what they'd have laid on if we'd have actually won. Your daughter looks well, Doc. Is she finding her feet here? You mean not treading in mine? She's been a tremendous help with the decorations. Don't you think they look lovely? Splendid. And the uh, young doctor, is he proving helpful now? And people are prepared to let him help. Quite. What about drinks? I thought you might like to start the dancing, Miss Reed. Party going before Fawcett gives us the rallying speech? If you have no objections, of course. Absolutely. I'm sure Evan Pringle won't mind. Beautiful. Yes. There are no secrets on this island, my friend. You do well to remember that. Where the cabaret this evening. To the soldiers of Dunkirk. He 
think you should be back there? Because I'm glad you're here. And so is the little girl in the hospital. May I claim my dance now? Germany a long time ago after the last war, Mr. Johnson. This is our home now. You kept your bloody Jerry passport there, didn't you? You're more than welcome. This is a party for everyone. I think perhaps it would be better if you leave. Exactly right. Go on, shove off. Shut up. Please, can I get you both something? You should be fighting the Germans, not serving them bloody drinks. It's later than we realized. Maybe we will drink together another time. Why don't you go with me? You've caused enough sodding problems here already. You're drunk, Johnson. Whose side are you on, anyway? Jerry's on England's doorstep, or don't you care? Oh, wait a minute, Johnson. No, you wait a minute. You're the administrator. If they've locked them all up in New Zealand, they should be locked up here. I'm well aware of the laws relating to alien nationals. I'd ask you not to interfere unnecessarily. It's a bloody doctor who's interfering. There's been nothing but trouble since he arrived. Chris, leave it. You best do as you're told. Chris, now isn't the time. Prime site right near the beach. Gonna have to evict the sitting tenants first, of course. Alec, I've been thinking about going back. To St Andrews? No, to the war. Unless the islanders accept me, I'm wasting my time here. When the young polio girls made a full recovery, the islanders will see what you've done. They can see now. In the meantime, take advantage of the free time. Get this place tidied up. The army's not that desperate for junior doctors. Don't waste your abilities for the sake of a gesture. You know that Fawcett put the Mullers under curfew. Curfew? He locked them up if he could. It's absurd. I know, I know, but you must stop fighting battles you can't win. You can only defeat yourself in the end. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Where's Mr. Purvis, George? Not been in all days, sir. Not at all. Good God, the man must be ill. I hope you handle a scalpel better than you do a screwdriver. I'm a physician, not a surgeon. Anyway, how good are you? We're honored by your presence, Mr. Purvis. If you put that bottle down, you'll have both hands free to help. Alas, I'm afraid I can only be counted on for moral support. The satisfaction of building. Something I've never personally... Nor me. In fact, this island is one of the few places where I can survive without that demon work squatting on my shoulder. Survive? By spouting dog rule for another handout? Only till next month's check arrives, old girl. You've heard of the remittance man? I am he. Forced to live on a miserly monthly pittance from devoted but disillusioned aunts. Chris, I need a hand inside.
time to say good night. Good night, sweet prince. And may flights of angels, etc., etc. This all seems a little irrelevant. You're too much the Puritan. Give yourself over to a life of ease and indulgence. If not a life, then at least an evening. You sound like Purvis. I'm going quietly mad here. Purvis is drunk, not mad. And I've no intention of letting you become a drunk. Because then I'd go mad too. Which village is she from? Tala Tala. Tell Alec I've stolen the ambulance. Be here, Doctor. I have a patient recovering from polio. She lives here. I need to find out why she caught it so I can stop others from catching it. I'm intruding. It is a custom that our Ariki visit the new children. Is it also a custom that you risk your children growing up crippled? You are not welcomed. You can only help by leaving. Not one of ours. It's a patrol boat of some kind. He's a German. I said New Zealand should give us more protection. It's Japanese. It's a bloody relief. <laughs> Captain Yamagata, to peace. May it come soon. Bye bye. Come. If the Germans come east, can you withstand an attack? Well, even if they did, why would they bother with us? Large shipping has to moor outside the reef. There's no place for an airfield. No, I'd say we're perfectly safe. After all, I had a lift on a Japanese ship during the last war. You were a soldier. Don't imagine they'll be running a friendly ferry service this time. I think we'll have another little problem. I don't know. Of course, it seems to be getting on with him all right. There's a gunboat anchored offshore. He doesn't have the liberty to be ungracious. You, uh, you blokes going to join us against the Germans this time? The war is in Europe. Our interest is to see that East Asia remains in friendly hands. Don't make them too welcome, Colonel. They might decide to stay. Captain Yamagata is a guest. <laughs> and his colleagues are invited guests in China, I suppose. You have something to say. I was just saying that you chaps have a tendency to make yourself at home. 
And once you moved in, you're remarkably difficult to shift. Like in Nanking. I do not understand. We only try to protect the Pacific. Protect? And who do you propose to protect us from? You know, cheap. Everything very cheap. Come in, come in. Enoch, take the box of shell necklaces. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. Better get a good price, Johnson. If they do come back again, they may not pay at all. Here they are. Handmade. Very rare. Thank you. There you go. Right. Right, Miss Herbie. That's a go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Bravo, my darling. Never mind them. I think you're well enough to come for a royal visit. The doctor has come 12,000 miles to the people of Coraluna. He brings knowledge of great worth. You have seen for yourself what he has achieved. I urge you to talk to your people and to trust Dr. Masters once again. Alina, Kimi Metagi Koito Omana. You believe in this new treatment for polio, Doctor? Of course I do. The evidence is sitting in front of us. So our children will no longer be crippled by the illness. Exactly. You understand the treatment? Dr. Masters taught it to me. But you have the knowledge now. Yes, he does. Then you can treat our people. Drunk on a balmy night. In the middle of the Pacific. Go oh, bravo. The grand gesture. What about you? What do you do? The great writer. Our island Byron. I haven't seen you write a word. Not one. Why, right, old chap. Rage on. Blame me. I'm not blaming you. It's this island. One of your fellow once joined up. Troubled love affair, you know, that sort of thing. Found himself getting all kinds of shit shot out of him on a Turkish beach. Hunted all next day for the bloody officer who'd kicked him out of the boat. And eventually found him lying in the sand. A stupid grin on his face, sunbathing. I kicked him to wake him up. And his head just rolled off his shoulders. It seemed to roll off like a football. What do you want? Pity? I'm just surprised you care so much. I mean, what are you trying to prove to these people? Do what? What more can he do? Do your worst. I, Chris Masters, defy it. Is this respect? Dr. Masters isn't feeling quite himself. Are you drunk, Doctor, because you didn't get what you want? I'm drunk. So that I don't have to see the stupidity in front of me. 
That's why I'm drunk. If you could only see it, you'd be drunk too. Speak with respect. When you're married, you can try and tell me what to do. Until then, I say what I like. Oh. Leave him. All of you will be thrown off this island. Can't wait. You can have your island paradise. But you better have plenty of children, Alina. Because half of them will be dead before they're three. Take him away from here. I've seen how your people live. You think I just arrived on a boat like that? I'm a bloody doctor. I've trained for ten years. I guess I'm drunk and a pathetic sight. But you have no idea what you're doing. Let's call it a night, old chap. You walk perfectly well. I'm sorry. Sunday tea, remember? It was your idea. Oh. What time is it? I doubt it'll be as entertaining as your evening with Mr. Purvis. Every year she wins first prize at the club for a pastry. And I'm sure she will again, too. Not this year. We will be so sorry to leave. You're leaving? We are being sent to New Zealand. The colonel was very kind, but he has been instructed. That's awful. I'm sorry. No one is to blame. We might be on the Mantella with you. I'm trying to convince Chris to try his luck in Australia. Or I might go back to England. You must be worried about your family. We too are. I will make some more tea. Gotta get him inside. Carry him in. Keep him isolated. And don't let these two go. The island has just collapsed at the hospital. Was he from Talatala? Tiari was there. It's cholera. There's no doubt about it. It must have started at Talatala. We've got to go there immediately, both of us. My people do not trust you. You've got to let me help. We will decide what to do. Dr. Masters isn't exaggerating. The princess and Mana must guide our people now. Lena. We will do as you say, with Dr. Masters. Let's go. <laughs> Even though he keeps being sick, make him drink the water. Half the bloody village is sick. We need to get their animals out of here. Tell the villagers to take water from further upstream. So many are dying. I'd take them all into hospital. Can we make a hospital here? Yes. It's too late. It's too late if we don't start now. Use the meeting house. Good girl. Nana, come on, let's get it cleared out. 
Why are you doing this? After all that's been said. Help me get some things from the hospital. I'll need some men to do as I say without arguing. It appears that it mainly originated in one of the inland villages. And because of the number of deaths, we've already been able to ascertain that it is serious and highly contagious. But we mustn't get our own position out of perspective. There are steps we can take. Doc Reed has various things to say. I leave medical matters in his capable hands, of course. Trusting you'll all give him the cooperation he needs. Doc? The essential thing is hygiene. You must all be responsible for your own cooking from now on. Boil water before you use it and keep away from the villages entirely. Chris. We'll be able to inoculate perhaps 400 people. There are almost 3,000 on the island. Our only hope is to quarantine the victims as much as possible. And to do that, we're going to need help. Real physical help. Or a lot of people are going to die. There are more than 400 children. Now, how many of you here need inoculation? Good. Thank you, gentlemen. Any questions? Doc, can we be of assistance in the hospital? We don't need help from any bloody Nazis. We need all the help we can get. This is cholera. No politics, it just kills. Of course. Come at this now, that you'll have to hop in the back. That's a good boy. You don't need it. Great big chap like you should be looking after the little ones. I'm a big man now. You really don't have enough, do you? Afraid not. Let's go. Boy. Hello. I bought your room service. Should I leave it outside? Thanks, sir. Just put it in there. Where's Dad? Tala Tala. If you're staying, you could help Miss Salvi with the water. I'm helping Reverend Pringle with the children at the church. There'd be more use here. I really can't stand hospitals. They make me feel sick. I should get back. Thanks. Make sure the water's clean and for God's sake, keep them drinking They can't. They keep being sick. That's what's killing them, Alina. The cholera dries them out. If they can't drink it, we'll have to give it to them intravenously. You're no use to me exhausted, Mrs. Muller. You need some sleep. I want to finish this. Doctor's orders. Ibsen, Ibsen. saline bloody solutions and wet flannels. They're gonna die whatever we do. They still need your help. Maybe the gods are angry.
Those graves aren't nearly deep enough. We must be close to our loved ones. It's not safe, even with the lime. The bodies have to be disposed of much faster. Disposed? Dr. Maltus wants them buried at sea. He wants too much. It is important. I mean no disrespect. We will do as he says. Taki Kiruma. They must take them way past the reef and disinfect themselves after they've done it. You can't just take my bite. I carry all our supplies and that. Now you'll carry corpses. I'll speak to Fawcett. Do that. Go when this is finished. Go. I'd forgotten all about that. Don't know. Lift her. I must lift. I can't lift her. Help me. Lift her. I don't understand. You said you'd been inoculated. We couldn't deprive the children. It's all right. It's all right. She's all right now. She's all right. It's all right. It's a miracle he's not dead as well. Fools. He should have come with us. I shouldn't have left him here. He won't leave her. What do you mean? He loved her. I've got to get some sleep. You knew. You knew. Why didn't you tell me? He loved her. Come, ye blessed children of our Father. Receive the kingdom prepared for you since the beginning of the world. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all forevermore. Amen. 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 You made them swing their bed out to sea. That's all I'm saying. And? Just that. But you have always been so keen to play fair with the natives. I'm surprised not to see Christopher here, Dr. Reed. Someone's got to take care of the living, Mrs. Fawcett. You slept well. Mm. Now, I can deal with it now. There's nothing to deal with except breakfast. Hungry? Hungry. But I ought to. We've had no new cases all night. None? Not for nearly 12 hours. Well, where's the doc? He want to tell Fawcett the good news. 
We've beaten it. I don't believe it. We've done it. It's over. It's over. Shall I make some tea? Tea? <laughs> yes. Mom. Open the teapot, Miss Harvey. <laughs> Let's celebrate! Oh. <laughs> Sir, I must go with excitement. That's one way of putting it. But yes, we got off very lightly. Well, what a glad to see you pull through. Expecting a much more grim reception, I can tell you. The whole community worked together magnificently. The doctors did a splendid job, but last time you and I danced, you were about ten. You used to stand on my feet. And they're still playing the same music. Dad, I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, they're just getting used to being a daughter again. I'll be back. And I won't take so long next time. Any idea when Bill's planning to sail, Chris? No, not exactly. Fawcett was asking him to wait for the copper to be brought down. Yeah, you see, the Colonel's prolonging her agony. You're right, Chris. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm a little exhausted. The last few weeks are catching up with me. We'd best make this the last dance, then. Yes. Missing this celebration, Miss Selby. I'm not really one to go to dances, Mr. Purvis. I was very proud of you during the crisis, Mr. Purvis. Your sobriety was appreciated. It'd be a great shame to go back to your old ways. What if I had someone to remind me of that every so often? I try my best, Miss Southby. Sleep on my feet. On mine, actually. Thanks. Paula, will you excuse me? You're leaving. I can stay awake long enough to walk home. Then we'd best make sure you get home safely. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Apologize. To me? To him. For all I said. The philosophy of Scotch. My behavior. Unforgivable. I think you've earned your forgiveness, Dr. Masters. The other day you called me Chris. It's so beautiful here. It's a place of peace.
So many people are dead. Many more could have died if you hadn't. You'll marry Mana soon. It is all arranged. It was my father's wish. And you? What do you wish? I am a Riki. That means I am responsible for my people. I must go now. Why? So you can find your people. The doctor must come. Is there a problem? You! You must come with me. Where? Follow me. It's all right, Alec. have done. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you. Now you have a proper home here. Australia with you. Oh, uh, if I leave, I'll go to London, but that's not possible at the moment. You've changed your mind about Coraluna. I feel I'm finally doing something useful here. Alina will marry Mana, you know that. This has got nothing to do with Alina. <sighs> I hope you're fooling yourself, Chris, because you're not fooling me. Yeah. I don't know how to begin to say this. Please, don't. But you can't marry Mana. That is what my father wanted. But you don't love him. That doesn't matter. I've fallen in love with you. No, Chris. I love you. You know I do. You mustn't talk like this. It's not possible. Chris. Get away from her. No! Mother, stop it! Let him go! Please, stop it! Chris! What have you done? Go! I'm sorry. Just go! Look 
curse is just words, nothing. It wasn't the spirits that killed Tamaruo. There are words and there is wisdom. I can make you a wise man. It is for you to decide. The power is in your hands. Show me. I wouldn't even wash in it, old chap. Weddings aren't really my cup of tea either. Frankly, I tend to prefer a good funeral.
Next week, the passion is released. He sleeps with my wife. Do you ever think about anybody but yourself? Look out! I'll take care of you. My people are against you. It's not our walkers. Soon you'll be finished here. All you whites. Now more than ever, we must be together. It's not possible. Next week on The Other Side of Paradise.